How to shop for groceries? Oh dear, here you are again, starving, staring at the vacant but well-lit corridor of shame that is your refrigerator. There's a three-year-old can of fig jam, an almost empty spicy mustard container, a half a carton of expired extra lean skimmed almond milk, and what's that? Either a rotten melon or some kind of animal brain. Yikes! What to do? The new Italian place is too crowded. The ex-wife got the dim sum place in the divorce, and the postmodern Korean-style street food hot dog taco joint is too well. Gary's pretty sure that's where he contracted Ebola. You have only one option left, and it's not good: the grocery store. Yes, you've had to do it before. Excruciating though it was, the lighting, like something from an alien autopsy scene, the endless aisles, straight out of a David Fincher movie, the labels. Fair trade, free trade, organic, certified organic, FDA organic, gluten free, sugar free, fat free, GMO, BPH, ABF. The unending onslaught of acronyms and code words is enough to send even the sanest among us into a frightening spiral of anxiety and neurosis. And hey. the cashiers, always asking you how you're how doing, you doing or how your day How's is going. going today? If you found everything you you're, everything looking, you're for, looking for, why must great. they know all this personal okay. information? Take care the key now. to surviving this is knowing that you must be quick or you may die. It's usually best to grab one of the motorized sit-down scooters for older shoppers. Now drive at top rate straight to the prepared foods area of the store. Get some pasta, some dim sum, and if they have it, a postmodern Korean-style street food hot dog taco with sesame dipping sauce. Pay as quickly as possible and cruise straight home. Voila! Grocery shopping accomplished with speed, precision, and delectable results. Gorge away.